on the fear side of tech, uh, you're, the, you're the man who made Terminator, showed us what AI could be in the future. Do you need now to make a new Terminator movie to show us what the possibilities are now? I think, look, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with exactly how to tell a new Terminator story now that won't be obsolete in a year. We are li literally living at the precipice of what, what you know, was science fiction back when I did it in the 80s. It was science fiction that there could be an artificial superintelligence. It was science fiction that people would get into an arms race and connect it up to their weapons platforms and to their nuclear command and control. It's not science fiction anymore. It's happening, and people will do that because if there ever is, God forbid, such, such a conflict, it'll be our AI against their AI or everybody's AIs against everybody's AIs. And the whole, the whole war is going to be shot or, or take place so fast that only an AI superintelligence will be able to counter the moves of another one. And that's the kind of arms race that scares the hell out of me. So just to differentiate, you've got generative AI, which is fun, chat GPT, and you can play around with all the, you know, 3VO and stuff like that, all the fun video stuff. And then you've got the threat of actual, you know, machine superintelligence. That is an existential threat. This other thing is a nuisance. That's an actual existential threat. And I don't think we're doing enough right now societally to put the brakes on that. And you've got a bunch of rich people trying to get richer, trying to be first to that.